Hey guys, welcome back to my Dragon's Crown walkthrough. I am Mitchell from Gamefront, and uh, this is I Love the Amazon. And right now we need to go to the castle for some story stuff, so I am going to shut up, and you are going to listen. You are going to like it! You report everything you learned to Count Dean. Unfortunately, you also mention the hero's legendary sword. Naturally, he demands the great sword. But at least he's in a good mood now. He thought you'd just flee, but you didn't. Oh, well, he pays me money. That's good. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? It seems that he thinks much more highly of you now. Dean confides in you some of the problems in the castle. Once the king went missing, the prime minister began recommending the Archduke McNeil of Bulga to the throne. Bulga is an aggressive nation to the north. McNeil is related to the King of Hydland and has a legal claim to the throne. Count Dean claims that McNeil has been rallying nobles in Hydland to support his claim to the throne. That's why Dean hired Tomit to steal the scepter. He says that Tomit is extremely trustworthy, so long as he is paid. Suddenly, the Prime Minister and the Princess appear. It seems you are being watched. The Count glowers and departs. The Prime Minister warns you not to involve yourself any further. The Princess, as usual, looks back with blank eyes. Since you completed the job at the castle, you return to the Adventurer's Guild to tell them what transpired. Oh, of course. And plus, <laughs> there's some stuff I think I need to do there anyway. There's some new quests. Uh, might have to turn in some quests. Roland we'll see. also happens to be here to report oh, on a job. However, Samuel is not here. Roland is waiting for him to return. It's Mr. Trollface. Roland thinks that he just missed him and asks you to track down the Guildmaster and bring him back. Sounds good. Uh, what quest we got here? Reclamation of Honor. Okay. We still haven't done the, the Beastmaster quest. We're gonna, we're, I mean, I'm sure we'll, we'll take care of that eventually. Uh, what's this have to do? Bill, okay, so open the treasure chest. That's the one I was talking about before. Easy enough. Got two skill points. Let's get... Stun Wave. Sounds good. And anything else here? War Paint. I need two for that. Alright, you know what? I'm going to save up, and we're going to get War Paint, uh, war paint next. You look for Samuel, the guildmaster. He should be somewhere in town. Oh, in town. I gotta find him in town. He's not in the castle. He's not in the Adventurer's Guild. He's probably not at Lucane's. I can't imagine why he would be at Lucane's. Well, let's try the Canon Temple. What troubles you, my child? You stand before the goddess statues. Jula, Althena, and Vernus. These statues have all crumbled. Texts say the goddesses sacrificed themselves to defeat a dragon, which caused their likenesses to degrade as well. Althena, the one in the center, is the goddess of compassion, battle, and odyssey, making her popular with adventurers. If your party falls during your adventure, a prayer to Althena and a tithing of your money will resurrect the party. If you are repeatedly depending on her grace, the amount you must offer for her services will continually increase. A giant man in armor finishes his prayers and turns around. His pensive expression quickly turns fierce as he sees you. Ugh, I don't want you to get mad at me. He tells you that he was praying because he has sent many friends to look for the king, but they haven't found the slightest clue. When you ask to help, Samuel just nods and hands you a request form. It's the same request the temple gave you. In a remote region, marriageable girls are disappearing one by one. The catacombs are believed to be linked somehow. All right. Well, um, I'm sure. Why don't we? Why don't we do one of these things? We'll do uh, prayer of profit. Sure. Get more money when we come back. Let's resurrect some bones. 
Don't want to be too overpowered, so we'll get some that are around our level. Okay. As you leave, oh, his raspy uh, voice makes it difficult this guy. for you to discern if he's even speaking your language. <laughs> that dog looks like he's about to piss on him. Oh you man, can give watch him a out. coin if you feel pity for him. Of course, you're free to walk away. As well. Now, I, last time I gave this guy a coin because it's it's one coin and I'm a generous soul. Um, this time I'm gonna see what happens when I walk away. To I'm sure that'll come back to haunt us. <laughs> you head to the catacombs where the villagers fear to tread. All right, to the catacombs we go. Sorry, this this uh, select screen reminds me of Super Mario RPG. In the catacombs, stark white bones are strewn on the ground as far as the gates are zombies. The sheer number of the deceased is the only indication left of this area's former prosperity. Oh wow, I can't believe I was actually hitting that guy. Watch out, he's going below! Told you. Ah, he's grabbing me! Still proves. Let's keep it moving, guys. Those zombies are just gonna keep coming. Ah, on me. Oh, I need health. I need health. I have. Oh, there we go. Wait, how do I do it? There we go. Sorry, usually I have a, a shortcut for that. Let's use one of these. Now, give me back my axe. A strange knight stumbles out of the darkness towards you. You surmise that he is not of this world. The knight is muttering to himself, as if in a daze. If I end my own life, they can no longer sacrifice me. When you move closer, the knight extends his hand. He's holding a scroll. When you accept it, the knight disappears. The path ahead of you is connected to the ruins of the castle colloquially called the Castle of the Dead. Oh, wow. Castle of the Dead. Clever. The listeners would say she's been told to the Castle of the Dead. And down you go. Wow, there's a lot of uh, shit going on. Uh, Chester, you seem to be a little too strong for our party. I wish I can kick you out. I gotta remember to... Uh, keep four slots always full, but you know what? If only one person is is overpowered, I think we'll be fine. Oh yes. I mean, really, Simple. come on, guys. This game is not hard. I don't, I don't need an overpowered person to help me out here. It's just uh, something that I, I, I just have. Are incorporeal. They are completely immune to physical attacks. So y'all take care of all these guys myself. My weakness is light. Torchlight will drive them off. All by myself. I don't need you, Chester. They're coming. Whoop. Let's get out of there. Get rid of this torch. And we'll do one of these. Oh, Chester already killed them all. Hello, there you are. Hurry up. Yes. This. Rescue you. You saved a village girl. You yes. must protect her now. And let's go. I'm gonna save my uh, my draughts of strength or whatever those things are for the uh, the upcoming boss. It's my turn. Done. 
No more potions. Help but I was blocking. You saved a village girl. You must protect her now. Well, looks like we're gonna have to deal with some spiders here. Da. Ah, poison. Skeletons are the worst in this game. And down you go. So I fight pretty well without the without the axe. Let's get one of these. Getting a lot of treasure. That's good. Oh no! Don't stand on the. With the obvious trap? Alright, there we go. That's good. Let's go. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> I should have picked up the, the coins that were over there. Oh well. Oh look, he made a tree in it. Oh my. I'll take these coin these coins. I got it. And we should be able to collect one more one more lady friend. Filthy Luca. The vampire, vampire. <laughs> flies away. You saved a village girl. You must protect her now. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Boss time. Protect the village girl. If she's been okay, use a uh, strong drought, whatever that thing is called, and just beat the crap out of her. Alright, she's dead. Your turn. Da, da, da. Da. Gotta make sure that she doesn't kill the uh, the girls that we saved because she will turn them into more vampires. I'm not sure if I'm getting her good. Let's see, uh, use another potion. Up. It's so hard to tell which which plane they're on. I think I got it right here. There we go. Come on, yeah. Get over here. <laughs> I, th I thought that the sorceress was uh, the one I was trying to kill. Gotcha! Get over here! Almost done. My friend, ah, uh, dead. The kidnapped girls had been turned. They are now vampires attacking other people. What? You utter a silent prayer, hoping that you have slain the last vampire and leave the ruins. What? I saved all the girls. They didn't turn into vampires, you lying narrator. In your hands is the bloody scroll that the ghost knight had given you. Alright, let's see what we got here. 
pretty sure we got an A rank. Let's see what this is. Concentration plus six, damage from demonic foes minus twelve. Not not bad, not great. What about the boots? I still don't have any gloves. Decrease freeze duration, stun time reduced. Uh, I'll hold on to it, but again, that's not that great either. Uh, let's see, what about you? That's not bad. I mean, it's decent damage. It's better than what I have right now. I'll take that. Uh, let's see, how about this one? Rinka. No, it's too much of a disparity between the minimum and maximum. So we'll sell that. Again, same thing. This one. I'll hold on to it. Crap. And it's probably gonna be crap too. Alright, let's go. You have unraveled the mystery of the village girl's disappearances. Obtain your reward at the guild. Alright guys, well before we do that, we're going to end this video right here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.